This is the Mito Red Light Mega X. It is their full body panel. It has got a lot of new cool features. We've got a touchscreen control panel. We're pulsing. Yes, Mito Red Light now have pulsing in their panels. You've got compatibility with their app with all of the advanced tracking features. You have six wavelengths, including the unique 590 nanometer amber light and you can get all of this at a rather good price now be sure to hang around until the end of the video because i'll actually compare this panel with some very similar panels from other companies uh if you're looking for a full body panel then yeah the section at the end is going to be rather useful anyway let's take a closer look at the mito red mega x lots of m's Let's go. Okay, so this panel is built on the Mono Red Light Mito Pro Plus range. They've pretty much taken that and made some improvements. 600 LEDs, they're dual chip LEDs, meaning you're gonna get pretty good light coverage. It measures 64 inches tall by 17 inches across. Now, as you can see, I am a little bit taller than the panel. I measure five foot 10, uh, so my head is slightly above the panel. And if I stand in front of it, my arms are also off to the side. Now this panel also has a built-in alarm mode. So you can set a timer or set an alarm and it will turn on. Uh, maybe you want to do that in the morning. I don't know. Personally, it's uh, not something that really excites me, but it may excite you. Now as for what this panel is going to be good for, it's going to help with circulation. It's going to help with recovery. It's going to help with inflammation and of course the big one it's going to help with cellular mitochondrial performance so pretty much you're getting benefits from the ground up when it comes to health and wellness all right let's fire up the spectrometer and we're going to see what wavelengths are being emitted and also how much power this thing is putting out okay so as you can see uh it's quite tricky to get one good snapshot that shows all six wavelengths this is because there are six wavelengths and it's only dual chip led so as you move around uh, you're getting different concentrations now the claimed wavelengths are 590 nanometers with six percent of energy allocated to that 630 red with 22 percent 660 red 22 percent as well and then you have 810 830 and 850 all getting 17 percent respectively so how hard is that compared to what i saw well down here you can see the amber which is coming in at 596 which is close enough uh 6 30 peak there bang on and then uh 6 60 also bang on so those are good uh you'll notice that the amber intensity is a lot lower than the red and the near infrared this was true in the other mito red light uh x panels i've tested there's not a lot of energy going to it uh relative to the other um wavelengths remember you're only getting six percent of the leds that have 590 and then even the power going to the LEDs, it's not emitting a ton of energy, a ton of light. Uh, when it comes to near infrared, we have a peak here at 807, so that would be the 810, and then up here at 830, which is good. And then it was a little bit hard to get at the peak showing of 850, but it is down there at 852 or thereabouts. You see that slight little raise. So pretty much everything's all good on that front. Let's have a look at the power irradiance figures now. Okay, for this, I'm going to head over to lighttherapyinsiders.com. Then I'm going to click on the shopping tool. And with the shopping tool, you can see all of the panels that I've tested, plus some that I haven't. And it's going to help you make uh, the best purchase decision. Now, what I want to do is just look at the body panels. These are the large panels that treat the entire body. Uh, you can see there are five panels here. By the way, I am doing a full comparison between these four or five panels. I'm also going to include the Biomax 900 quad setup. Uh, that will be out soon, so be sure to hit subscribe for that. Uh, you'll be notified of that. And also, if you are enjoying this video, hit the like button as well. Uh, I really do appreciate it, and um, feel free to leave a comment. Okay, so we have the Mito Red Light Mega X down here. Now, the peak irradiance I had was 63 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Now the average over nine different spots was 56 and a half. So what you need to know here is the peak and the average were actually very similar. And this means you're getting a nice blend of light across the panel. Uh, that is true for all wavelengths except the 590 nanometer amber, which is sort of arranged in clusters. 
But overall, you're getting a, a good, good blend of light. So that's great. However, the Iranians figure is on the lower side. I mean, if we compare this to some of the other panels in this category, 56 is well below the 70s uh, for the other panels. And I mean, the smaller panels, the wall panels, are up around 80, 90. So this is something to keep in mind. We can also do a value calculation here. And yeah, we see that the Mega is the most expensive relatively uh, compared to these other panels. Though in the past I've said anything under $10, remember lower is better, uh, is really good. So it is great value, but it's not the best compared to its competitors. Total power output, this takes into consideration uh, size and the power output. Uh, it comes in at fourth place. This is an older generation radiotherapy panel. The new one, the Refine, is a lot more powerful. Uh, so you can see it is lacking. And that is, one, because it's it's smaller on the LED front, but two, because the irradiance is a lot lower. But be sure to hang around later in the video because we will do a better comparison of these panels. Now, I also tested the sound output. It was 59 decibels on the higher side. And there was also a little bit of low field magnetic EMF. Not a concerning amount, 0.2 micro Teslas, but if you are super sensitive to EMF, then yeah, this is something to keep in mind. All right, so how much does it cost? Well, it retails for 2,649 US dollars. However, if you place your order using the link down below and you enter the discount code down below, you're going to save 5%. So that will bring the price down to 2,516 US dollars. I should mention that is an affiliate link. So not only do you save, I get a small commission, but yeah, 2,516 US dollars. There's also free shipping to America. However, if you want to get this shipped internationally, expect to pay up to about $300. And that price does not include duties or taxes. So yeah, I mean, it could get rather expensive if you're shipping it to say Australia. Now there's a three year warranty included with this pedal and a 60 day returns period with no restocking fee. When it comes to stands and accessories, bundled within the box, you get two sets of eye goggles, a really good manual, a metal wall hanging bracket, and the fittings required for that. So that means you can screw it up onto the wall. And that is actually it. So if you want a horizontal or vertical stand, you can order it through the website. It's about $350. However, I do need to mention there was no door hanging kit or pulleys or anything like that. This is a 60 pound panel, so it's not really suitable for hanging off a door, but it's still, it would have been nice to get some pulleys or some sort of fitting so you could hang it from your own hooks on the wall. All right, so what do I like about the Mega X? Well, firstly, you're buying from a very established, highly regarded red light therapy company. That is Minor Red Light. They've been around for a long time and have produced some exceptional panels. So you're getting a three year warranty, 60 day return period with no restocking fees and great customer support. You can actually check out my recent interview I did with the founder of Mito Red Light and also the behind the scenes tour of their warehouse. I do like the wavelength allocation within this panel. You're getting the reds, but you're also getting 810 with a good amount of LEDs putting out 810, plus 830 and 850, and you are getting that 590 nanometer amber light. Now there is a lot of promising research on 590, especially around beauty and skincare benefits. We have published an article over at Light Therapy Insiders on these benefits. So if you are keen to learn more about 590, check that out. It is the only panel on the market at the moment that has 590. So if that is a big selling point for you, then yeah, you know, this panel is going to be great. So though only 6% of the LEDs are emitting the 590 and it's not a lot of energy. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes when you see these other wavelengths, you often better to purchase a dedicated device that emits just that wavelength, whether it's a handheld device or a torch, and then use the full body panel for your reds and your near infrareds, for instance. This panel does have dual chip LEDs, which is great, but what's even better is the blend of the light. As we saw earlier, the peak irradiance and the average irradiance figures we're very, very similar. Often you see quite a big drop off. And as I move the spectrometer around, you see peaks and troughs and a lot of fluctuations. That wasn't the case with this panel. So you are going to get a nice blend of light across the body. There are a lot of new features in this panel. We have the alarm mode. Personally, it's not something that I'm really going to use, though it is a feature there if you want to tap into it. 
We now have pulsing in the motor red light product range. It's only 10 hertz pulse light in the near infrared range, but still it may be a welcome addition for some. Of course, we now have the inbuilt touchscreen and it's quite nice. It's very responsive. The buttons and menus all work in a way that's easy to figure out. You don't need to cross check with the manual. And you also have the ability to disable the Bluetooth if you don't want to do that and access preset modes. Though it's not perfect, two minor issues are the beep when you press a button is quite loud. And secondly, the screen goes blank after it's been running for a few minutes, which is a little bit frustrating because sometimes I'm using a panel and I just want to see how much longer the session has to run. Now I have to physically touch the screen to reactivate the timer. Not a deal breaker, but yeah, something that could be improved. Now, the final thing I need to talk about is the size. Now. Minor red light panels in the past have typically been rather tall, but narrow, and it's always been a bit of a problem. If you saw my 2024 comparison series where I looked at wall panels, minor red light lost a lot of points here because yeah, it was rather narrow. It's only gonna treat a small section of the body. Now this Mega X is not only a lot taller, here you can see me standing right next to it, but it's also a lot wider than these wall panels, meaning you can get say nipple to nipple coverage you're not going to get shoulder to shoulder but you're definitely going to get the bulk of your body treated from this panel and this is why i left this point to the last because even though this is a pro it's a great selling point it's also a bit of a negative let me explain from videos i've done in the past we know that the light is staying rather concentrated directly in front of the leds meaning if you want to treat part of the body you need to get it in front of an LED. So if I'm using this panel, I'm not gonna get treatment on my arms. Well, I could treat one arm, but then of course half of my body isn't gonna be treated. Now, if you're looking for a body panel to treat all of the body, I'm talking shoulder to shoulder width coverage and head to toe coverage, then unfortunately this panel is a little bit too small. Sure, it's great that one person can move it around and it is a much more manageable size. It also comes in at a lower price point, but again, if you do want that full body coverage, this is not going to do it. Personally, I'm not too worried about the height. If I want to treat my head, I don't mind if my ankles aren't being treated or vice versa. So I can get around that. What I don't like though is the width. It needs to be a few inches wider because yeah, I want to get full treatment. I want to treat my arms, my back, my chest, everything in one hit. Yes, in the past when I only had a smaller panel, I used to treat one portion and then another, swap around and do the front. But now I just want to treat my whole body. So this is going to be a little bit of a turnoff. Of course, if you're a smaller build, it may not be an issue. Another thing I don't like is the cost to get this shipped to your door if you live outside of America. It's going to be expensive. We're talking 300 US dollars to get it shipped to an Australian address, and then you're paying duties and taxes on top of that. So just be prepared. If you're in America, you're getting free shipping. Even though this panel comes with an app, it doesn't come bundled with a remote. A bit of a downside because I really do think remotes, even if it's just a simple on off button, are quite handy when you're working with these larger body panels. On the power front, this is lacking, especially compared to competitors products. Actually, it's even lacking if you look at panels from a few years ago. Now, I know this is a, let's say a controversial topic or it's a rather hot topic, but still, I would much rather have a panel with a lot of power and if I don't want all of that light energy, I can regulate it through the control panel, but you can't go the other way. So for the amount of money you're paying and knowing that there's competitive products out there with a lot more power, like 40 or 50% more than this, it may be a bit off-putting for some. And that also ties into the value. Sure, this is a pretty good price point, but if you look at how much you're spending based on how much energy you're getting, it is on the more expensive side when compared to competitor options. And then finally, I have three minor things. Firstly is the EMF in this. It's not a concerning amount, but there was some detectable EMF there. Secondly is the sound. It's a lot louder than a lot of panels hit in the market today, 59 decibels. To put that in perspective, the rival Block Blue Light Elite XL panel, which is a very similar size to this, it's only putting out 43 decibels. It's very, very different. And finally, and this is just a personal gripe of mine, the power point on this cable is rather high on the back, meaning you've got to run extension cords and you're going to have cables running all the way down the back of the panel. If you look at, say, the Block Blue Light, their power plug is right down the bottom. It's really cool. It just makes life a little bit easier. Okay, so should you buy the Motor Red Light Mega X? Well, 
If you want a large body panel that has five nanometer amber light, then yeah, you should because it's your only option. And if you live in America and you want a large red light therapy panel, that's two and a half thousand dollars or less, then yeah, this is probably my recommendation as well. You see, you can get this at the discounted price of $2,516 with free shipping to your door. However, if you live outside of America, then I'd say there are probably better options for you. And if you live inside America and you're happy to spend a little bit more than the two and a half grand, then of course, then as well, I think there are some better options. Speaking of these options, let's run through them. Now, remember, I am going to be shooting a deep dive comparison between all of these top body panels. That's really what you need to watch because what I'm doing here is just a brief overview. So first up, let's look at the Block Blue Light Elite XL. It's a very similar size physically, though it does have 120 more LEDs packed into the panel. It's also $500 more expensive. There's no amber light, there's no app, but there's no EMF. It's also a lot quieter and it's more powerful and there are much better shipping options for international customers. I've done full reviews on all of these panels as well, so you can check them out. What happens if you want to go bigger? Because the Block Blue Light Elite is, like I said, similar size to this. Well, if you want to go bigger, then one good option is the Royo Therapy 3600. Now, this thing is massive. You will get shoulder to shoulder head to toe coverage but of course you're going to pay a premium for that this panel has 1200 leds twice the amount of the mega x behind me it also has the built-in smart modes which a lot of people were raving about again check out my review finally another approach is to get four panels and clip them all together why would you want to do this well maybe you can't afford three four thousand dollars and you go to buy them individually every six months or so. You can do this with Platinum LED with their Biomax panels, and you can build four of them together to create a large array. The beauty of this, it's a lot easier to assemble and move around. These panels are a lot lighter than the large ones like this. You can also tap into the benefits of the Biomax panel with seven wavelengths, including blue light and 10 60 nanometer near-infrared light. Plus, there's a heap of stand options, which is quite attractive when you're working with large full body panels so we're lucky because there are a lot of options out there the cool thing is even something like this even though it has some limitations it's still going to work is it the perfect panel well not in my mind is it a good panel would i happily use this if it's the only one i could use yeah of course really though if you're shopping around be sure to check out more of my reviews and of course that epic comparison video that you can see up here if it's out, if it's not out, hit subscribe and up here will be a different video.